Okay, hello, hello, this is Max. Spring 2015, we're working on discussion eight, which is on scheme. And our first question is sort of an introduction to defining functions and using recursion in scheme. And we're asked to define factorial. It's just a reminder for people is, um, if I say four factorial, that's equal to four times three times two times one, which is equal to four times three factorial. So that it has some sort of intuitive recursive structure. So we can, we can sort of tell, just like we did in Python, that this is going to be, we're going to have a recursive solution to this question. So just like in all recursion, right, we need to define a base case. So let's start by defining our base case here. So if, remember the, the syntax for defining um, conditionals in scheme is going to be if and then some condition, which in this case, sort of what is, what is our baseline condition for factorial? Well, sort of the easiest input we can get is zero factorial is equal to one. So we're gonna say zero, x is equal to zero. Then we're going to return one. Otherwise, we wanna return, well, what do we wanna return if we haven't reached our base case? Well, we're gonna return x times a recursive call to factorial with x minus one, okay. So the way we can do that here is by saying um, multiply x times a recursive call to factorial. And instead of calling an x, we're gonna call an x, we're gonna call it on x minus one. Gotta make sure you have all your parentheses set up. Okay, so this was really quickly this is a really fast thing, so now we can go over it. Um, just a reminder, so the, the way we do, we, the way we evaluate conditionals here is we have an if statement, and then one way to evaluate conditionals is we have an if statement followed by our condition here, which is x equal to zero. If it's true, we're gonna execute this first line here, which is sort of the next, the next expression from our conditional separated by a space. And then if it's false, then we'll evaluate the second condition instead, or the second expression instead. So it's sort of written if condition, and then we have a true statement and a false statement, and that's what's gonna get. So if the condition is true, we're gonna evaluate and return our true statement, otherwise we're gonna evaluate and return our false statement. And then we can sort of look, at, look back at our defined syntax this defining a function is just syntactic sugar for writing out a lambda expression and binding it to the symbol factorial. So I can write this out more explicitly by writing define factorial. So define is used to set variable names as well as define functions. Define factorial, I'm going to set factorial equal to a lambda function. I can spell lambda correctly. Lambda function that takes a single argument and then returns the body of this and then has lambda takes a single argument and then it's going to return if equals x zero then return one otherwise return multiply x times a recursive call to factorial which I'm allowed to do just like I am in Python with the argument x minus one. Gotta make sure that this is a one. It's really important that your parentheses all line up here. So it looks sort of like this. So I'm defining factorial, the symbol, I'm setting it equal to this lambda expression. Okay, so this is a lot, probably a lot more detail than any of you needed, but in case you're sort of confused on stuff, this is how if statements work. This is what's really happening under the hood of our sort of syntactically sugary or sort of our slightly nicer um, factorial function definition right here. Okay, great. So if you have any questions about this or anything was unclear, feel free to post on Piazza or on YouTube and we'll get any questions you have answered. Thanks for watching.